Hello again everyone, Marcus here, I review stuff. Today you're going to see me review a song that I recently listened to on one of my Twitch streams. Uh, Twitch streams are a lot of fun, if you've never checked them out, you should definitely uh, consider checking it out and follow me on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash Ewok to remember. Anyway, hope you enjoy the song. Oh, Morrissey song. So actually this is one of two Morrissey songs requested by two different people, so I guess... People are just in the uh, Morrissey mood today, but uh, this next one is the National Front Disco by Morrissey. So um, at this point, as you guys know, anybody who's been with the channel for a little bit um, knows that, you know, between the Smiths and then Morrissey and even a little bit of Johnny Marr, we've heard a lot uh, of music kind of around that Smiths universe, right? Um, and so, I, I mean, I got to say I'm a fan of Morrissey's voice. I, I enjoy his his style in general. Um, and so just kind of hoping for another good song. And with that, I say we jump right in. Here we go. This is again Morrissey, the National Front Disco.
like that bass to fade out. I love that little bass line they gave you there at the end. That was nice. So a little context here that I didn't know about. It looks like uh, some of you were saying in in the chat that um, uh, the national or the yeah the National Front is like a uh, um, pro-British sort of group of racists, I suppose. Um, so that's going to provide a lot of interesting context to um, <laughs> these lyrics that we're about to look at. Um, so ho we'll see how it goes. But overall. I think the song's sounding great, and again, we just coming off of that Chevelle song we just heard. This one is is also like a, just a fun kind of upbeat, faster paced song uh, to really get the blood flowing. So, um, I really really enjoy the instrumentation and and, and Morrissey's vocal approach here. So, uh, interested to kind of break it down further and, and really see what this one's about. So let's do just that. Jumping into the lyrics, also some information here. It does say the National Disco Front is about a young Briton, David, uh, developing far-right political views, much to the chagrin of those around him. The National Front is a fascist political party in the UK, so fringe that it has never had a candidate elected to Parliament. Okay, interesting. And this looks like this was released in 1992, so uh, let's take a look at those lyrics. So, David, the wind blows, the wind blows bits of your life away. Your friends all say, where is our boy? Oh, we've lost our boy, but they should know where you've gone because again and again you've explained that you're going to. Um, oh, you're going to, yeah, England for the... Uh, England for the English, and there it is right there, right? That sort of fascist, racist, like uh, our land is only for the people that we say it is, essentially that kind of thing, right? Uh, we deal with a lot of that here in America as well. So, uh, David, the winds blow, the winds blow all of my dreams away, and I still say, where is our boy? And we've lost our boy, but I should know why you've gone, because again and again you've explained you've gone to the national, to the national, there's a country, you don't live there, but one day you would like to, and if you show them what you're made of, oh, then you might do. So yeah, I mean, it sounds like exactly what that about section said. It's it's about this this guy who sort of loses himself in this fascist ideology, um, and his friends and family and whoever is like, man, what happened to our boy? What happened to that guy that we really used to, you know, love spending time with and being around? And you know, what happened to him? But it, it, I think what Morrissey is saying here is that like, oh, you should have known. Like the signs were always there, and he was always talking about what he intended to do, right? So it really shouldn't have come as a surprise. Uh, but David, we wonder, we wonder if the thunder is ever really going to begin, begin, begin. Your mom says, I've lost my boy, but she should know why you've gone. Because again and again, you've explained you've gone to the national, to the national, to the national front disco, because you want the day to come sooner. You want the day to come sooner uh, when you settled the score. Oh, the national. Yep. Uh, so I think, it, I mean, yeah, once you kind of know that context, which I didn't know the context going in, I didn't know what the National Front was at all. Uh, but I guess once you know that context, it's like uh, now it makes a lot of sense what the song is about. And as some of you have pointed out, I mean, nowadays Morrissey might be found at the National Front disco, which I don't know a whole lot about that. I, I did look up Morrissey and kind of read his Wikipedia entry a while back Um just because I, I've I've seen comments like that about some of the stuff that he believes in or that he has um, said in the last few decades. So, uh, I mean, unfortunate to see that, you know, he would make a song sort of um, criticizing this, this ideology and then sort of uh, evolve towards that ideology over time. So, man, that's, that's rough. So, anyway, lyrically, this one was at least pretty interesting. Um, and I think it tells a story that I think a few of us can relate to, honestly, when you kind of see someone going down a path or some with some beliefs that you just can't get on board with, you know, one way or the other. So um, I, I definitely dug the lyrics. I give it two big thumbs up. As far as the instrumentation and vocals go, I really enjoyed uh, Morrissey's voice here. You know, it, it's a funny thing because the first time I ever heard the Smiths, I, did, I just did not click with Morrissey's voice. But as I've listened to more of the Smiths and more of Morrissey's solo work, I'm like, yeah, I, I, I really enjoy his vocal style. Um, it, it, it definitely works for me, and, and whether it's a slower song like I Know It's Over or whether it's a little bit faster paced like this one, I think he, he, 
he uh, sort of blends those styles really well. Um, then on top of that, the instrumentation I thought was fantastic. The drumming was fun and energetic and, and just catchy. The guitar work I thought throughout was was very nice and fun and again cat catchy and, fa and fast paced. And then the bass, especially there at the end as the bass uh, kind of faded out, it was like, man, that's a really cool groove. I, I, I dig that. So a lot of great work in the instrumentation and vocals in this one. I'm giving it two big thumbs up. As far as replay value goes, this one is a very fun, catchy, fast paced song. I definitely had a great time listening to it. It's got interesting lyrics. It has great singing, great instrumentation. So two big thumbs up for me for replay value. This one makes the playlist for sure. Thank you so much for whoever requested this one. All right, I say we keep it going. Like I said, trying to get to as many today as I can. Just All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, if you enjoyed the music as much as I did, go support the artists. Go listen to their music wherever you can. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can just do all the normal stuff you do on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. You can even check the description to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, or TikTok. All right, guys. Again, hope you enjoyed the video, and hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.